like Palestine and Israel is a great example. Yeah. Because it's the tension is so heightened. Oh. And anything you say on one side or the other, people will attack you on. Sure. And so th this is one that's a, if you have an opinion, a political opinion, a, 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 a cultural opinion about the conflict and you post it, boy, you are opening yourself up to a world of people agreeing and disagreeing and chaos and fighting. Mm -hmm. And some of those people are going to have points that make sense. Like say if you are 100% pro-Palestine and you read something about Hamas and you read something, you go, wow, that's fucking terrible. You know, you have to be willing to say, oh, there's both things. There's yes. the, you know, the, the, the fact that they live in what's essentially an open air prison is fucking terrible. Also, the people that are ruling them are terrorists. That's terrible too. Like you can't ignore any aspect. This is a complicated thing. What some of the Israeli soldiers have done some evil things to Palestine. There's videos of them shooting people. Also, what Hamas did is fucking insanely evil. Like what? What has to be done to fix that? I do not know. But yeah. to pretend it's binary and to pretend it's one side good, one side bad, that That's seems right. insane. It, it's it's all bad. It's all bad. It's all fucking heartbreaking. Yeah. It's all devastating. And you're right. There's And what I've learned, I feel like we've all learned, or trying to learn at least, is because it is so complicated. And that mm -hmm. is a part of the world and historically thousands of years that – I find complicated and I, I try my best to understand. I also try to go at it with an open mind because it is all fucking crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It and, doesn't and, seem like there's a real solution either. It's and scary. there's the things that you said. Yes. And I want to get to that in a second because I was thinking about that today is the everything you said. Absolutely. This part of it is devastating. This is devastating. This side, this side. Um, the 240 hostages that still uh, yeah. I haven't come home yet. Also, where does it go? Right. Where does it go? Where does it go? That's the that's the thing that I think really grabs my attention because usually I think in now I'm not saying a situation like this, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on where you feel like I think this is the path to finding a resolve, mm -hmm. or at least maybe the first steps of resolve. But right. in this case, I don't see it, brother. I don't know. No, I don't see it. But I but. But speaking to what we were talking about earlier, you can learn from there, that's where separating the noise from the mm. intelligent perspectives. I've read some very intelligent perspectives where people give you a detailed history in the conflict of the region, and you realize, like, oh, this is like incredibly complicated. And to have a binary viewpoint or a very black or white viewpoint is dangerous. It's not, yes. it's not, and it's so easy for people to do. People love to do that, they love to other people. It's a natural human trait, it's a tribal trait that we have. And that is what led to World War Two and the fucking the Holocaust mm -hmm. is that they othered these human beings because these human beings were Jewish. And you're, mm -hmm. you're seeing people doing that now with Jewish people. And you're seeing people doing that now with uh, with with Muslim people. There's people that are angry at all Muslim people because of what Hamas did. All of it's crazy. And you you what we need to do is realize that othering human beings is insane. And if you could look at Earth mm -hmm. from space, this is one of the things that all the astronauts have said, mm -hmm. all the people that have gone to the space station, there's a moment where you are up there, when you look down on the Earth, and you see this magical thing that's floating in the heavens, and you realize how insane these conflicts we have over territory, of lines in the dirt, and fighting over resources, and it's so ridiculous. We are one life form. We are one gigantic superorganism that needs each other. Because, like, yes, human beings need each other. We do not survive alone. The worst thing they can do to you in prison is put you in solitary confinement. Yeah. We we need each other. It's a part of what we are. We're this one gigantic group of of beings that are trying to live our lives all together on this 
fucking magical thing that's floating through space. And we unfortunately come from tribal backgrounds, yeah. all of us. We evolved in these small groups of hunter-gatherers thousands and thousands of years ago, and we carry that DNA still. We carry that fiercely loyal tribal DNA that allows us to look at people that aren't a part of us as something less than us. Mm -hmm. And we've got to- And other them. Yeah. And what I'm hoping is that as technology allows people to communicate far more freely and, and to translate languages more freely- and where information is going to get exchanged more freely, and it takes a long time for this to happen. Yeah. But we will eventually understand each other to the point where that's way more difficult to happen. Because it's so easy for it to happen if you don't speak their language, you don't follow their religion, they're bad, you're good, you know, and then you're othering people. That's right. And we got to stop that. That's that's a fucking insanely ridiculous thing that's being done by world leaders. They gather people together against other people that you don't even fucking know. You yeah. don't even know. It's one thing if you have a conflict with an actual human being that's like doing something to you. Yeah, right. But this is like you don't even know these people. And these world leaders have told you that somehow or another these people are bad and you're good and we got to go over there and fuck them up. Like we're still doing that. Like, that's insane.